Hey guys, welcome into this edition of I Can't Even, and unfortunately, I'm going to have to pick on one of my favorite baseball players, Mike Trout. But he made a big mistake by not going to the World Baseball Classic this year, and I think he's starting to realize it. He just did an interview and came out and said that if he was given the opportunity, if he could do it all over again, uh, he would absolutely participate in the World Baseball Classic. You're only saying this, Mike, because now you realize, watching these games, how much fucking fun it is. There is no way somebody could not watch Yadier Molina last night, watching the Dominican team snap its 11-game losing streak against Puerto Rico. There is no way that you could watch that game and not be excited. There is no way that you can watch the World Baseball Classic and not be jumping out of your seat and going, my God, everyone jumping out of the dugouts, home runs, guys are flying out, runs scored, guys are flying out, double plays. The energy watching the World Baseball Classic is exactly what baseball is all about. Let us not forget, it's a fucking kid's game. The problem with the U.S. team and guys like Mike Trout and Chris Bryant and Bryce Harper, the problem with those guys is, for some reason, they've made baseball into golf, where it's very debonair. It's fucking uptight. All of you guys are uptight. Watching the U.S. team play is ridiculous. And Mike Trout coming out in an interview and saying now after he has seen the excitement and the energy level that now he'd want to be on the World Baseball Classic team after seeing how great it is this year? Day late, dollar short. Listen, I get it, Mike Trout. Nobody wants to be the guy that didn't go to the party because you had a long day and your fucking feet hurt and, you know, you really don't... It's better if you get some sleep and then you find out it's an absolute fucking rager and there were hot chicks everywhere and you missed it. But the whole point of the World Baseball Classic is to grow the game of baseball around the world. Now, how the fuck are you going to do that if the game's best players aren't there? And quite honestly, when the United States says, hey, we need you to represent us, and I don't give a shit if it's in bike riding, if it's in fucking ping pong, skydiving, I didn't make up any fucking sport. I don't give a shit. If you are good enough and lucky enough to be that good, and you're from this country, and you've got to go up against the rest of the world, then you answer the fucking call, and you play. I don't want to hear no shit about, well, it's a long season, it's spring training. I don't care. And you know who else doesn't care? Teams from Israel, teams from Italy, teams from the Dominican, teams from Puerto Rico. There is no way you can watch the World Baseball Classic this year and not see the energy and the enthusiasm by everybody else in the fucking world except for the United States team who sits there, hits the home runs, and guys uh, step up on the dugout. Yeah, great shot. All right, I've seen more excitement out of a fart in a fucking windstorm. So all I am saying, Mike Trout, is yes, I know. You're looking at it now and you're going, man, I really want to be a part of that. Well, next time you get asked, Bryce Harper, Chris Bryant, Mike Trout, next time you guys get asked, answer the fucking bell. Because I can tell you right now, if we want the game to survive, then when we have an opportunity on the world stage to prove just how good American baseball players are, you show up and you dominate this fucking tournament. Because right now, I'm watching the U.S. team, and I'll tell you this, though, Mike Trout, if you really care about the game of baseball and you want the next generation to love the sport like you love the sport, kids are going to see you don't give a shit. And by the way, if you don't give a shit, then why is the kid going to care? You play for the Angels, and I know that's, that's, that's like losing a bet. You may play for the Yankees sooner rather than later. But the reality is you're always going to be playing for Team USA. I don't think that the Bryce Harpers and the Chris Bryants of the world, I don't think these guys truly understand how much power that they hold. If you care, thousands upon thousands of other on-the-fence baseball fans are going to care. That's how you grow the fucking game. You don't grow the game by taking a backseat and playing in spring chaining and then going, wow, look at how much fun they're having. I wish I could have that much fun. Well, you can. Next time you are asked, then you stand and you fucking deliver. It's that simple. I don't want to hear about after the fact how you wish you could have been a part of the team. If the United States ring ring picks up the fucking phone, you go. And by the way, it wouldn't be just 
USA baseball fans that would be paying attention if you played. It would be baseball fans around the world, and that is just good for the game, and that is just good for you and your brand, Mike Trout, because quite honestly, if I ran you over in the fucking road here, nobody would know who you were. And I'll leave you with this, Mike Trout. If you played, then there isn't an excuse for any player on planet Earth not to accept the invite and to play as well. Because if Mike Trout is there, then everybody else, what is your fucking excuse? I love the game of baseball. I love you, Mike Trout. But do me a favor. Get your head out of your ass, will you? When the USA calls, you answer.